<laughs> will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. We need to focus on Donald Trump. We need to follow his money. What is fueling my soul right now is Trump. This illegitimate president. I look forward to going into the office of attorney general every day, suing him and then going home. Folks, before she even took office, she was threatening to go after President Trump. That's immoral if you're an attorney and especially as a prosecutor. So if that doesn't prove that Letitia James is waging political warfare and has no ability to be impartial, I don't know what does. Well, joining me now, it is my pleasure to introduce to you President Trump's attorney, the woman who filed that lawsuit against Letitia James on the president's behalf, Alina Haba is here. Alina, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you for filing this lawsuit. Um, she has been an authority on the side of conservatives going after the NRA, going after President Trump. Um, what do you make of Letitia James right now? <laughs> I think anybody who just saw what you just played and has, uh, you know, two brain cells can see what she is. She is unhinged. She is um, incredibly obsessed. That is really the word that comes to mind. I mean, I'm concerned for my client. Is he going to have a, a bunny boiling in a pot next? You know, it, it's crazy. She just will not let it go because honestly, because he's a Republican. If he was a Democrat, this wouldn't be happening. Absolutely. That is an absolute fact. Um, it's also because he's gotten so much done, and I still believe because he has so much support. They're afraid of what he could do if he gets reelected again, if he runs in 2024. What is at the heart of your suit? What's the argument you're making to the court? Right. The heart of the suit is really the Constitution. It's due process. It's violation of so many, you know, the First Amendment, right, freedom of speech, because he's a Republican, because she does not agree with him. That's viewpoint discrimination. It's constitutional violations. That's really the heart of it. Um, this really isn't about Donald Trump, per se, or his business dealings. He wanted me to bring this suit you know, I remember when he sat across from me, he said, I'm not doing this for me. This has to be done for the American people, because at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter if your political views are different than mine. But it does now, because our country has become like China. We are completely unhinged. And uh, and this was really an attack on on him, his family, his businesses, because she just doesn't like him. Well, you can't do that. You cannot do that as the attorney general. You took an oath and you're violating it. Look, he's got tens of millions of supporters that we know that they all yeah. hate. I mentioned the National Rifle Association. The moment she took office, five million members of the NRA, she filed suit against the National Rifle Association. Two things in common here, Alina. Right. She threatened to go after the NRA before she took office, and she threatened to go after President Trump before he took office. How bad is that as someone running to be a top prosecutor in a state that you're threatening something before an investigation's even been done? How about uh, at the RNC, she files a subpoena against Eric Trump as he's setting, getting up on stage to announce his father. Can you imagine? I mean, that's how vindictive she has become and is and was prior to being attorney general. And you are not allowed to have political animus and use your office and your position to do so. Judges shouldn't do it. The DOJ can't do it. We are not allowed to do that as a country. It really is enough. Is there any way to go after her personally through all of this, whether it's civil lawsuits? She must have protections mm -hmm. as, as an elected leader. But when you look at what she's mm -hmm. doing, I would love to see her held accountable personally. Yeah. Yes, there is. I think, you know, there is one way, and that is that she practices law. And to me, the right to practice law is a privilege that I went to school for a very long time to do. And when I do that, I have an ethical obligation. And when you're the attorney general, you have an even higher ethical obligation than I have. And at the end of day, um, that is a right. That is not something that is given. You take a bar exam. And she should not, she, in my opinion, she should be stripped of that right. Yeah, um, I agree with you. Just playing the clips that we played earlier uh, prove the point of her bias and impartiality, and that is not good, as we said, yeah. for an attorney general in a state like New York, or any state for that matter. <laughs> Alina Abba, thank yeah. you so much. Give the president our best, and uh, keep fighting for him. I will.